welcome back. Well, you know how they say, save the best for last. Well, we've certainly done that today. We're about to show you the best film from the 48-hour film project made right here in Jacksonville earlier this summer. The film was written, shot, edited, and scored in less than 48 hours and had to incorporate three required elements, a specific prop, a specific character, and a line of dialogue. The same elements that all the filmmakers in the competition had to include in theirs, too. Mm -hmm. And this film also won awards for Best Screenplay, Best Special Effects, and Best Actress. Please watch Echo of Elizabeth from X4 Productions, the best 48-hour film from Jacksonville this year. If I have to talk to one more Bogue today, I'm going to vomit. Take a look around. This isn't a Mercedes dealership. Take what you can get and hope their down payment check doesn't bounce. Yeah, well, maybe I should go work for Mercedes. Well, you'd have to use a whole lot less hair gel and get some better hygiene. You know, Joe, you're a real ass. <laughs> What did you do that for? Take a look at her. Ma'am, I'm sorry for my friend here. I need a ride. Can you take me? Yeah, I can take you anywhere and everywhere you want to go. Let's go, sweetie. I'm going to be on a test drive. Just don't hit any deer this time. I won't. So, you hit a deer? Yeah, a couple months back. Turn here. So, uh, you live out here? Yeah, just up a little further. My name's Peter Dupree, by the way. Uh, what'd you say your name was? I didn't. But you can call me anything and everything you like. Do you want to... You're out of gas. No, I just feel... What the hell? Where are you going? I'll be waiting for you. All right. Hey, gorgeous, let's ride. Get out of the car. Just call 911. He's hurt really bad.
We've just watched Echo of Elizabeth, the best film in this year's 48-hour film project, Jacksonville. Joining us now is the winning team, X4 Productions. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you. you. Um, Glenn Vandermolen is the team leader. Why don't you introduce folks to us, please? Uh, yeah, but next to me is uh, Manuel Aragon. He ran, uh, basically let us use his house. That was pretty important. <laughs> and ran audio and, and camera work. And then Amanda Ayers, our lead actress, and also won Best Actress for the festival. We're very proud of that. Congratulations. Congratulations, best actress. That's quite an accomplishment. <laughs> Thank you. I was thrilled. I was shocked. Exactly how did they present the storyline to you? Um, well, I'm curious, yeah. <laughs> uh, they contacted me a few weeks before the festival to be a part of their team. And then I said yes, of course. And um, that's it. When we pulled Ghost Story, we were so excited and that's about it. And obviously, you I guys did well. You were the winners, and you got this awesome trophy. Who keeps the trophy? Where is it at? Uh, it was in my house <laughs> for the first, what, uh, three weeks or four weeks yeah, already? Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. And then now uh, I give it to Glenn, and Glenn decide what to do. We're gonna I think we're going to rotate. <laughs> yeah, we'll moving around yeah. until someone drops it. Somebody have it. to babysit it. Yeah. <laughs> Glenn, how did you pull the team together? Um, last year, we participated in the uh, festival. We were part of a bigger team, a group, and we didn't have as much say or, or what we wanted to do with what, we, what direction we wanted to go. So this year we decided we we're going to make our own team, do it our way. Um, but first we had to get Amanda on. We were, I mean, really, we we're, I wouldn't submit the paperwork until Daniel assured me she would be on the team. Oh, I said, so okay. <laughs> <laughs> and once we, <laughs> once we had that, we went ahead and submitted the paperwork, formed our team, and uh, made it from there. Hmm. So. How did cool. the idea for the film come about after you got Well, we got Ghost. Well, first, we got Holiday Film, which is what we did last year, which was not so good. So mm -hmm. we, no, we'll go to the backup category, or whatever it was called. Um, we got Ghost Store. We were ecstatic with that. <laughs> so we were having dinner afterward, and we all started tossing ideas around. Well, okay, do this, do that. Had to have the elements, car salesman, what have you. Um, finally, we came up with the ideas, OK, what uh, car salesman? meets a ghost and we took it from there and you know Amanda became our ghost and it grew from there and Daniel wrote the script till two or three in the morning just typing away and uh, wow. the next morning we had secured all our locations and whatnot and uh, started production. Hmm. Yeah we should mention that Daniel Irizarry is your writer he yes, also yes. won Best won Screenplay best this, screenplay this, this year. year which is, you know, How did he present the idea to y'all because Obviously, you needed to set up the way you were going to shoot it in a certain way, too. Uh, well, actually, we all came up with the idea and gave him... Once he came up with the idea, Daniel was really creative. So we said, here's the elements. We, we put it together. What if this and this and this happens? He goes, okay. He runs off with the idea and just types it up and comes out with a script. I was like, wow, okay, real fast, beautiful script. Um, that's how the, the script came about. And, um, and what was the next question? <laughs> <laughs> we tweak it. We tweak it here and there after, you know, when we start uh, putting it together, um, you know, I mean, filming it. But uh, the elements, it, it just came out. I mean, it was just perfect. And when, when, when he came out with a script and I said, oh, my God, it's just had beginning, middle and end. Have a good climax, you know, it built, it's it just built perfectly for it. But it was, you know, it was short. And it's like, I think we can survive with this. You know, it's not, not extended. I think it's going to be good, short like that. And there it goes. So the script turned out obviously pretty well. And yeah. how did the filming go? Did you run into a lot of problems, or was it pretty smooth in uh, that rain. aspect? <laughs> rain. Uh, rain, rain, and yeah. rain and rain. <laughs> we were told what, what, we had a after we had a questionnaire. What was the best and worst thing of making the film? The best was the rain because it set the mood, yeah. and the worst was the rain because it got our gear wet. Huh. And uh, but it set the mood beautifully. Oh it, yeah, it, yeah, it definitely rain. goes with the film. Well, you had a couple of other elements that you had to wrangle, like. Uh, did you already know someone with a used car lot, or how did you come yes, by that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I shoot TV commercials uh, for, my, for a living, and uh, one of my commercials was this used car lot guy, and, and I worked with him many years, and really, you know, we get along really well. So I approached him with the idea, but I didn't let him read the script. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a sleazy car salesman, yeah. and he hasn't, as far as I know, seen the final product. I'm not sure I'll show it to him. He might be watching now. So, so you guys obviously have a good formula going. Do you plan on competing next year? Um, I don't know about if it's the same. We have entered this movie into a few other festivals as okay. well. Um, and we're probably, we're probably going to start shooting on another film soon, just a short. And we're going to build from that, enter it in contests, and keep 
our, our, everybody's, every filmmaker's goal is to make a feature, of course. So we want to keep the core group together and see how far we go. And I'm going to put you on the spot. You're a professional actress. How does this award add to your uh, ovure? Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm just very flattered and honored that I was given this award. Um, I, I don't know. I'm just so thankful to be working with this amazing team. And that's about it. It's so obviously a plus on the resume. <laughs> oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely, <laughs> I think so. Um, I have it up on my website. So hopefully it'll bring something in. <laughs> Maybe Steven Spielberg will give me a call or something. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> we'll wait for you in the future. <laughs> so, how'd it go for you guys this weekend? I tell you what, it was a wet but fun weekend. Uh, I got to get some old guys. We uh, did what we like to do best: make films and entertain. And uh, we barely made it. It was that close. But <laughs> <Woo! laughs> well, we did it. We did it, and we're there. So, all right, we're happy. Excellent. What team? X4, baby. X4 Productions. <laughs> Woo! The winner of the best Jacksonville 40 hour film, Project 2009, goes to Echo of Elizabeth, Team X4 Productions, Glenn Vanderbilt, and Team Leader. You've just seen three of the top films of this year's 48-hour film project, Jacksonville. And we heard from the winning filmmakers who made them. They were part of more than 40 teams who tried to meet the challenge of writing, shooting, and editing a meaningful film in just 48 hours. Everyone had a great time and a lot of fun. And we tried to shoot footage of some of it to share with you, but there was just so much that I shot that I couldn't include everything on this program. So if you go to our website, yourjacks.com, and look for highlights from the 48-hour film project, and we'll try to post some of the most important stuff on there. So is that about it? Well, just about, but we'd like to thank Mac McDonald and all the winning teams for coming and speaking with us today. We'd also like to thank Andy Howell at Apple Box Productions for loaning us the chairs for the set. If you'd like to see all of this year's 48-hour films and a few from previous years, they'll be available soon on a separate channel of Comcast On Demand. Now, that's it. Okay, then. Well, I'm Katie Rutherford. Watch for me as CW17's own Gossip Girl on our website, yourjacks.com. And I'm Danny Quitter, producer-director here at CW17. I guess I'll just crawl back behind the scenes and leave the spotlight to Katie. But thank you for watching to see what happens when Jacksonville filmmakers are gripped with indie madness. <laughs>